Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Military TV. Today, we will be talking about the U.S.'s spectacular weapon GAU-8 Avenger. If you find yourself curious about this modern super weapon, don't go anywhere and stay tuned. Initially produced by General Electric, the American multinational conglomerate, GAU-8A Avenger is known to be a 30mm hydraulically driven 7-barrel Gatling-style autocannon that is typically mounted on Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt II, one of the United States Air Force's jet aircrafts which is also known by the name Warthog or Hog. It was characterized as a Gatling-style weapon because it uses a Gatling-type rotating barrel assembly in order to deliver a sustained direct fire at much higher rates of fire than the single-barreled autocannons of the same caliber. The Avenger was designed specifically for anti-tank roles, and it is a famous weapon capable of launching powerful rounds at a high rate of fire. The GAU-8A is also employed in the Goalkeeper SeaWiz ship armament system, which defends against short-range threats such as highly maneuverable missiles, planes, and fast-moving surface vehicles. Tracing its history, it was first begun in November 1970, when the Air Force published a request for proposal for a 30mm rapid-fire cannon to be used in the AX close air support aircraft. The prototype cannon called GAU-8 was chosen in June 1971 by General Electric and Philco Ford. The contract also required the development of four types of ammunition, armor-piercing incendiary, high-explosive incendiary, semi-armor-piercing high-explosive, and target practice. Then, on February 26, 1974, the GAU-8 underwent its maiden in-flight test. Subsequently, on June 19, 1974, the gun was fired for the first time in flight using combat ammo. During nearly 60 test flights, the Avenger discharged over 39,000 rounds of ammunition. The cannon was put through its paces in a variety of flight profiles, from 25,000 feet to 100 feet, and at speeds ranging from 135 knots to 415 knots. Looking through details, the Avenger itself weighs around 280 kilograms, but the complete weapon weighs 1,828 kilograms with a maximum ammunition load. Operating the gun requires two hydraulic motors which are pressurized from two independent hydraulic systems. The use of aluminum alloy casings instead of typical steel or brass cases is a unique feature of the GAU-8A ammunition. This alone increases ammunition capacity by 30% for a given weight. The rate of fire of the Avenger was initially adjustable, with a low setting of 2,100 RPM and a high setting of 4,200 RPM. Later, this rate was altered to a set rate of 3,900 revolutions per minute. There is no technological limit to how long the cannon may be continually fired, and a pilot could possibly waste the whole ammunition load in a single burst without causing damage or harm to the weapon system. So, what makes the Avenger so prestigious and powerful? Well, it is its accuracy. The GAU-8A is exceptionally accurate and has a rate of fire of up to 3,900 rounds per minute. The 30mm shell has twice the range, half the time to target, and three times the bulk of similar close air support aircraft ammunition. When fitted in the A-10, the GAU-8A accuracy is rated at 5 mil 80%, which means that 80% of bullets fired will hit within a cone with a 5 mil radian angle, which amounts to a 12 meter diameter circle at the weapon's design range of 1200 meters. This is truly a fantastic gun. It's no surprise that the U.S. Air Force desired such a weapon, and it undoubtedly aids in making U.S. jets the greatest in the world. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.